Good day. Good day from Hawaii. So aloha. I'm in the gym. It's nice and sunny out. Who knows how long it's gonna be sunny for, but I'm here to support my buddy Pat. He's been, I think, every single show I've ever competed in, pretty much. So he's doing a show here in Hawaii. I did one, my last show actually I did was a year and a half ago in Hawaii. We have a video in this exact same gym. So he's in here training today. So even though the weather's nice, we're in here training. It's gonna be a shoulder day. Get ready for it, get your mind right. All right, you guys know the deal. We always warm up and we warm up well. So I'm just gonna go through a little quick warm up for the shoulders and we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna start off with a shoulder workout, probably with a movement you may or may not have done. Um, I know I haven't done them in a while, but it's one of my favorites for just building the entire shoulder area, the traps, the anterior delts. We're gonna get some pulling muscles, so some rear delts and some traps. What we're talking about is the power clean. So, it's nice and light for this first set. We're still warming up, trying to get the form down. So I always like to, I'm not calling this a warm up, but I always like to start off with a compound movement. Sometimes we start off with push press, sometimes we start off with a single dumbbell snatch. We're doing this power clean into a press today. We got three, three sets of five reps. So not super high reps here, but what we're gonna be doing is we're warming up that central nervous system, lower back's gonna be coming into play, really creating a lot of momentum up, and then getting under it, and then pressing it. So um, if, you, if you need to, you can definitely dip and press, or you can just push press. Um, I definitely wouldn't be strict pressing this. Not using, you know, not going, not getting too heavy here. Again, we're just gonna, it's kind of our, our wake up the central nervous system, wake up those shoulders. And this is kind of our, our we'll call it our, our compound movement uh, for our shoulders. We will do some other pressing in this, but this bad boy, really just to set the tone for the day. I get it, I get it, I get it. <laughs> All right, next up, we have a standing dumbbell lateral raise to really work on that medial delt. Now, what I want you guys to do on, on this exercise is when you're not working the off arm, the off arm stays up. So as I'm working this arm, this arm stays up. It doesn't have to be straight. It can be slightly bent or even here. We're gonna go five, and then hold this arm up. Five, hold that arm up again. Five, and then five. So a total of 10 reps per arm, going back and forth, five, 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 holding the other one up. Crazy burn in this one. So pick a weight that you can definitely do that with. It might feel light at first, it's gonna get tough though. All right, Pat saw me doing that exercise. Pat's competing this weekend, so he's looking shredded. Pat, how old are you, 46? Somewhere of that, between that and 54. Okay, somewhere in between there, so. Hey, he's looking good, looking good for his show. Never competed in Hawaii before? I have not, always wanted to though. Pat counts his macros year round. It's one of the most impressive things I know about Pat. I don't know, there's a lot of impressive things about him. <laughs> macros year round is the most impressive. I narrow it down to this smaller category. I know no one that counts macros year round except for Pat. So, did our power cleans. Did something for that medial head for me. That's the second, really, the second most important exercise is something for that medial hip for my shoulders to just get that width. Now we're gonna do a rear T-bar. I call it a T-raise, because I'm gonna be bent over. Anterior delt, immediately sitting up and going to a supinated front raise with dumbbells. So, no rest in between. We have 15, 12, 10 on these. We 
We had our we had our fun. We did our bodybuilding stuff with the free weights. We had obviously the barbells, the dumbbells. Now we're jumping into machines, and I know a lot of you are like, yeah, machines. Machines are one of my favorite ways to finish off shoulders. The, the pump you can get from them is amazing. So what we're gonna do? I have three exercises. One for the uh, a push, a, a, a raise, and then a posterior delt. We're gonna do a drop set on each, and then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. We got three rounds of that. So essentially, a set, drop set, move on, and then the next one, set, drop set, move on. After we do three, you take a minute break, and then you do it again two more times. Let's just jump into it. Now the shoulders are all complete. Gonna finish up with a little ab circuit. Three exercise. We got four rounds just non-stop. Abs are gonna be one of those muscles that they burn, but they recover quickly. So it's not like, you know, it's not like we're training these big heavy muscles that need a lot of a rest time. Get in, they're fast oxidative, so train them hard. 10 minute circuit training, that's all you need. Perfect day, just what I needed to get over kind of, not jet lag, but traveling and just to come in, get a good sweat. Not quite finished though. I have sprints on the Swole program today. You guys can check that out, download it. We have a free week, I put it in the link. But right now, instead of doing sprints inside the gym, we're gonna go outside and do them out there. On the beach, so excited. That's why I clapped at you guys. Clap back, what? Clap back. Okay, right now, I have these lines set up. We're doing sprints on the beach. We're actually gonna be doing 60 yard shuttles. I was gonna do uh, 100 meter runs, but the beach, there's a lot of people down here. So if you're like, wanna do cardio outside, you don't have a ton of room, all this is is 15 yards here. So the first one's five. I'm gonna run five yards and back, 10 yards back, 15 yards back, and that's one. Do the, do the math on that, and it's 60 yards total. So we have 10 of those. The nice thing about this is getting in the sand, changing directions, it's gonna take a lot of legs. It's, it's gonna be great cardio. And I like doing the more of change of direction stuff um, just because I feel like quick twitch muscles. That's what we're, we're, we're stopping and starting again um, rather than just opening it up and all out running. So we got 10 of these. I'm gonna jump into it right now. And then I'm gonna jump in to the ocean afterwards. So let's do it. Oh hey, <laughs> oh hey, sorry guys. If I hang out for too long on the beach, my pecs just automatically start popping to attract females. <laughs> Can't control it. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, it's gonna be a great sunset, but right now I gotta go take my buddy to the show, and then we're gonna come back and jump into the water, and it's gonna be epic. And we're gonna get an awesome sunset, and we're just gonna have a B-roll of me in the water doing this. You'll see, it's gonna be awesome. I have it planned out in my head. Thank you guys. Like always, um, before I forget, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't, subscribe. That was my Whitney Simmons. Subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.